Hi there, this is Anoop. Today we are going to talk about options to transfer Azure subscription from one directory to another one. So over here we are talking about moving Azure subscription from one Azure Active Directory to another Azure Active Directory. What are the challenges you might get and what are the recommendations from Microsoft on that and what are the other options apart from moving the subscription from one directory to another directory all these things we are going to discuss in this video so don't skip it let's go ahead and watch it out now let's talk about how to move your azure subscription to a different azure active directory let's look at the challenges we have with that if you are doing it in a production environment what are the accounts or permissions you need for this activity and is there any downtime required for this and what are the other options than transferring subscription to Azure Active Directory to a different Active Directory. We'll see all these in this presentation and then we will see a demo as well. Let's talk about transfer subscription to different Azure Active Directory. What are the reasons for it and what are the supported methods? What are the things you need to take care? Transfer a subscription to a different directory for easy management. If your organization is merging with some other organization, then in that case you might need to do this as a consolidation process transferring a subscription requires downtime okay downtime is required to complete the process what are the alternatives you need to check whether you can use azure lighthouse to delegate resources so that user in the target directory can access the subscription in the source directory so these are the other methods which you can use to work around the ease of management issue microsoft provided a schema over here you can see this is the source directory this is the target directory we are moving subscription from this directory to this one and you need to prepare that is the first step and then transfer that is the second step when you transfer the subscription you need to recreate resource assignments and custom role assignments etc so you need to be very careful about this one this is the third step. The subscription transfer is kind of a straightforward process if you have appropriate permission and you have followed the process which is explained in the video then you can transfer it that is not a challenging one but you need to know the implications of it you need to understand the implications of it what are the challenges you are going to face role assignments you might need to recreate and then custom roles assignment you need to recreate and there are other other challenges also which we are going to cover in the next slide so let's go to the next slide let's assess the impact of the transfer of a subscription from one directory to another azure active directory first thing it could break your environment you need to remember that you have to disable custom managed keys if you are using it to avoid unrecoverable scenarios so this is specifically mentioned in the microsoft documentation i will link the microsoft documentation in the description of the video so that you can check this out as i mentioned in the last slide you need to recreate some of the resources that existed prior to the subscription transfer and in the table i am highlighting non-recoverable scenarios for example if you are using azure sql database with azure active directory authentication integration enabled then you have a problem it will be impacted by the transfer azure database for sql with azure ad authentication integration in enabled then you have a problem again this is impacted and cannot be recoverable so what is the action you can do and same thing for azure kubernetes services and even azure policies you have an option to export import reassign definitions that is an option for azure policies even azure active directory domain services if you are using then that is also impacted you cannot recover these things these are few examples but there's a list of impacts explained by Microsoft in the Microsoft documentation. So be very careful about transferring Azure subscription from an Azure AD directory to a different Azure AD directory. Let's go to the next slide. Quickly check the prerequisites. You need to have appropriate permissions. One of the permissions documented in Microsoft Learn Pages account administrator for subscription you want to transfer in the source directory. A user account in both source and target directory 
directory for making the directory change and i have used global admin and owner permissions in the following demo that is only for the lab or testing scenarios but in a production you must follow the least privilege scenario more details are available in the microsoft documentation now let's get into the demo side of things now let's check how to move a subscription in this directory to a different directory so if i go over here and the subscription you can see a subscription over here so i want to move this subscription to a different directory called hdmd community i want to move that subscription to this one if i click on this and if i do this at the moment what is happening is if i click on change directory over here it says cannot change directory because you only have access to one directory okay so that is the issue now what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this subscription to different directory by inviting a user from that hdmd community directory to this directory and login with that user and then change it so let's see how that goes okay so i'm heading over to other directory where there is no subscription just wanted to show you there's no subscription the end result we should have a subscription over here that the other subscription should be over here free trial should be over there in the other directory that is what we are trying to do let's head over to azure active directory in this hdmdc subscription the default directory subscription go to users add one user external user now add an external user and use other directory user email id over here and enter the display name i'm using the other directory email id over here that is hdmdc.onmicrosoft.com once you're okay with that then go to properties enter the first name and last name and then usage location select india user type is guest as you see over there click on assignment from the assignment section add global administrator role because global administrator role is required to transfer the subscription from default directory to hdmdc.onmicrosoft.com directory if everything is fine click on invite button over there now the user invite is in progress as you can see okay, successfully invite invited the user refresh might take some time let me log into outlook account for that particular user refresh might take some time okay now you can see the new user is there if you go to b2b collaboration there's option to resend the invite and then there is a option to copy the link so copy the link that is the best way in my opinion don't need to wait for email yeah now i got the email also in the hdmdc on microsoft dot com email id pasting the invitation in the browser and now it is asking me to give this permissions and accept permission requested default directory hdmd c okay the invitation requires these information from the hdmd c dot on microsoft dot com directory that is nothing but hdmd community directory there are two domains over here one is hdmd c outlook dot on microsoft dot com the other the one is hdmdc.onmicrosoft.com so we have a subscription in hdmdc outlook on microsoft.com and we are moving that subscription to this particular directory which you see in the screen hdmdc on microsoft.com okay so that means the guest account invitation is accepted now we are back to hdmdc outlook.onmicrosoft.com you can see the user user anub nair and that is hdmd underscore admin that is from hdmdc dot on microsoft dot com and it is external azure id why it is showing over here because we have accepted the invite now if you go to subscription and free trial go to access control you can add a role assignment and i am going to add this particular user hdmd underscore admin at the rate hdmdc on microsoft dot 
telecom user a owner access it is a owner role and now you need to select members by clicking on the hyperlink and you can see anub nair guest account that is hdmdc dot on microsoft dot com so i have selected that click on select button you can click on that button once you are fine then probably you can assign it okay adding the role assignment role assignment is done now so all the activities from this particular tenant that is hdmd c outlook dot on microsoft dot com is completed you have given the access to a guest account to move the subscription from this directory to another directory make sure you have this permission also login with hdmd underscore admin at the rate hdmd c on microsoft dot com account but enter the password logged in with destination tenant hdmd c on microsoft dot com and there's an option to switch directory over there click on that you can see two directories now one is default directory that is the source of subscription for now trial subscription is associated with that directory and there's a destination directory as well now i'm going to click on switch now this is the source directory i am logged in with and then now i can go to subscription and transfer the subscription to the destination directory subscription is here now i can go into the subscription and then change directory option is there click on that now you have an option to select the directory this is the source directory hdmd outlook dot on microsoft dot com where the subscription is located now so we are going to move that subscription to a different directory called hdmd community now you can click on change button to transfer the subscription to another directory hdmd community directory that is hdmd c dot on microsoft dot com changing the directory then change the billing ownership for the subscription that is important to know and it says it will normally take 10 minutes to view the subscription in the destination directory now let's check the source directory whether the subscription is moved or not yes it is moved now i logged in with hdmdc outlook on microsoft.com directory and you can see the subscription is not there the free trial subscription now let's go to the destination directory hdmdc on microsoft.com that is hdmd community just signed out and sign in going to sign in back now you can see the subscription is moved to hdmd community directory as you can see over there near the profile picture we have successfully moved the subscription from one directory to another directory now that you have seen all the details about moving subscription from one directory to another how to do that in lab what are the access permissions you need for that what are the gochas about this transfer all these things you have already seen in this video so hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around